a slave to my bloodstream I never feel at home I'm running out of time And I'm feeling like a ghost Got these aches in my body Feel it in my bones I've been coughing up blood I guess I don't need it I've been burying myself in my feelings Can't change the world from the lens of glass ceilings All these worries in my head I'm a ride in the gutter All of my thoughts turn me up in the when the sky forms the horizon Been coming up short on my life And plants just wither and die I'm a ride in the gutter All of my thoughts trip me up in the When the sky forms the horizon Been coming up short on my life And plants just wither and die I'm a ride in the gutter If you gutter. break a clock, does that mean that time doesn't pass? Wanna slow the world around me, I keep ducking its hands Got so many things to do, I've suture bits in my past But still I haven't touched the future, now my future is past Hit the gas, fuck the limits, only sprint to the task Cause every drop of blood I cough, I'm here a tick in the back Death, it doesn't pick a side, but wish it give me a chance I never needed recognition, never lived a chance Good evening, YouTube So This is another hot bar show I am your host, the King Shadow. Now, I got some clips for y'all, okay? Now, people, people, told you shit's gonna be coming very soon. I've been saying in my videos, shit's gonna happen. We need to correct the shit we're in now. Worrying about the relationship, not understanding your roles and place in life and stuff like that. This shit kind of gotta get corrected now. Because shit's about to go down. Okay, so let's watch this first clip. Let me give you a little example. This includes fly ass necklace, famous. That's why I saw my neck, nigga. Not no more, it ain't. Get the fuck out of here, Freddy. You know this shit ain't right. What the fuck about you, your family, or the Canaan? That's right. I'm that nigga. The nigga you need to be scared of. So you gonna die for that rope? And the rest of the shit. Grab that bag. Hey, hey! That's how shit works, my niggas. Street mask. I'll take it personal. <laughs> it's time to do that street mask, nigga. So, quick scene from Power 3. Now, season three, but from power. Anyways, so that street man off top, that nigga was stupid. Cardinal Road people, you gotta read the book, okay? Read the hood book. You don't shit on your front porch. That means your neighbors, you feel me? Your neighborhood, you don't shit there. Because they know you and it comes to you. You feel me? You protect your hood, your home. All OG gangsters, real motherfucking niggas know what that shit, okay? Now, if you a smart jack boy, you can go after simple shit, okay? <laughs> That's another rule. Don't be a simpleton, okay? Now, as you saw how that turnaround goes, this is why you don't shit on your front porch. Cause nigga, you literally around the corner neighbor. I know you, you in my complex, my nigga. That means I know everything you've been fucking doing for the past year or two, okay? Like I ain't peep, bitch nigga. And you think you comfortable enough to rob a nigga? <laughs> and that's what happens, okay? Turn around comes fucking fast on your ass and it's in your ass. <laughs> okay? Now that nigga in your house, he can wax all y'all, get the fuck out, get anything he fucking wants, cause now all your status is in there, you know that. Get anything he fucking wants. And never have to deal with you again. And the block will 
more than likely praise him for it than you because you probably did that to multiple motherfuckers in the same block your own hood <laughs> dumbass motherfuckers you go out your hood to do the dirt okay you don't ever do that shit in your hood it always comes the fuck back now that i put there just because we needed a reference base okay because the next clip is some wild shit check it out as of january 1st 2023 the following things will go into effect and people need to be aware of this it abolishes cash bail for almost every offense this includes but isn't limited to kidnapping armed robbery second degree murder drug-induced homicide aggravated dui threatening a public official and aggravated fleeing and eluding offenders released on electronic monitoring have to be in violation for 48 hours before law enforcement can act they could almost drive to alaska before we can even look for them it denies victims their constitutional rights and keep this in mind businesses and homeowners officers will no longer be able to remove trespassers from your resident residents or your businesses someone could decide to live in your shed and all we can do is give them a ticket you have to decide what level of force is required to remove them and whether or not it's legal as of january 1st 2023 the following three bah. right there they just made that shit legal okay it's not like legal but let's just put it this way okay they made the cops do less okay and 23 they're gonna make the cops do less now understand they also said they took bail away from some of the major infractions that have bail on it okay cool okay kidnapping you know kidnapping bitch slapping a public official yes i said bitch it's aggravated assault on a public official that's bitch left in a public official okay uh aggravated running so now doesn't matter if you run because they got guns at you or not they're not giving you bail now that's a one fucked up right there but then understand the second part people understand the second part okay understand the second part really understand that second part really understand that shit because uh damn they just said they cops can't do shit for you. Someone can be in your house and they can't do shit. You will have to go on ahead and protect your own home and get motherfuckers out of your house. You will have to put your own force to it. So understand ladies, you those ladies that say they don't need a man, you better get a gun. <laughs> okay? Cuz uh Literally, in 23, someone can come in your window, prop up on your couch, and ain't shit you can do about it. A nigga will stay in your house, and you can't kick him out because there ain't shit you can do about it. The cops will not come and pick, take, take him out. They'll come and give him a ticket, but they cannot get him out. You have to do that. So, I'm a real mob niggas. We back in business, y'all. We back in business. The strong arm game is back in business. The protection racket is actually becoming a legal thing now. Okay, I am putting this on game for all y'all. The protection racket is becoming a legal thing now because it will be a citizen's arrest and your own people to get motherfuckers out your situation. Understand that you need to have your own security guards, own civil force to make sure motherfuckers don't fuck your shit up because the cops ain't gonna do it. All you gotta do is not kill a person, okay? <laughs> so, leg shots, knock them down. <laughs> you feel me? Go on ahead and give them a, 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 a Harlem light. You shoot that bitch's pinky toe off. They ain't gonna die from that, but they ain't gonna be four feet. You know what I mean? <laughs> they ain't running with no pinky toe. You feel me? They just gonna flop over. <laughs> but understand now that. that the rules are changing and i keep telling people the rules are going to change the rules are going to change okay the more we get new officials and the more we get all these free fucking thinkers and the people that's not understanding social economics and and understanding how different nature works in different areas you feel me when they don't understand it and they look into a wide range of things and generalize it shit gets fucked up
So understand people, especially the hoodlums. Okay. It's time we can go actually legal with our protection rackets. Okay. Make a business out of it, boys. <laughs> You're welcome. Next clip. We need to go to the top lawyers, the top execs, the owners of the stadiums, the owners of the football teams, and the owners of the record labels. And we're going to put them all in one room. And we're going to read every – let's go top ten in each one of these categories, right? Let's read Michael B. Jordan's okay, but contract. Why would any of that – okay, but why Donald's would any of that – Why bro, would any of hey, that – hey, bro, hey, hey, bro, I ain't finished. I ain't finished my sentence. Nothing I you're, nothing my you're saying has idea. anything to do hey boy, with regret. Hey, hey boy, don't call hey me boy, boy, don't finish. I told you. Oh, don't treat me like a boy then. I'm, I'm going to finish my sentence and my idea. Nothing you're saying has got anything you're to not, do with okay, the tweet. Cool. Uh, bro, it? I was in the middle of a sentence, boy. Okay, so are, are you going to allow me to finish my sentence? Yes. If you then answer my question. Okay, so... We need to go to the top lawyers, the top. Hey, yo, I'm starting to enjoy Kanye's <laughs> dumbass. <laughs> this nigga called Pierce Morgan boy. Okay. Now, understand he was flipping that race card on him. You know? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. That was hilarious. Now, I'm, I'm telling you, Kanye. I should make a, a segment only on Kanye shit, like the shit Kanye said today. You're like, God damn, this nigga stupid. But he was taking a stand there. I understand wholeheartedly where he was going. He was taking a stand there because anybody who knows who Pierce Morgan is, okay, he likes to interrupt motherfuckers when they talking a lot. I could never go on this show because really you're going to have to clam up and you're going to have to let me talk. You ask me a question, let me answer you, okay? But if we in the back and forth, you know, debate, then I can, you know, you can cut me off and then I can give you to something, to something, to something, you know what I mean? You cut me off, you, oh, you need an example, bitch? I got you on that one. You're going to cut me off, okay, then this is what the question is, you know what I mean? That's a debate, okay? But when you have asked me a question about something that's already happened, sir, you need to shut the fuck up and get my story. <laughs> That's what you brought me here for, right? <laughs> I wholeheartedly understand where he came from because that's the disrespect factor that a lot of people take nowadays, okay? Don't know how structure of conversation goes, you feel me? Never was in a proper etiquette class. You get what I'm saying? So, when it's a, a bullshit conversation back and forth, like a debate, it's okay to cut a person off. Because you're trying to, to push forward your idea, your point, okay? That's okay. That's fine. The other person would do it too. That's okay. That's fine. No emotions in it. You're just trying to push the, the subject. That's it. Okay? That's a, a bullshit conversation. Debate. Okay? Now, when you go on and ask a person about something that's already happened, that's asking for information. Now, when you ask for information, you must shut up. Like, if your mouth is moving, you ain't receiving any information, okay? You should have learned this in school. Ask the question, then hear the fucking teacher tell you what the fuck it is, okay? Even if the teacher was dead ass wrong, let them go on ahead and say what the fuck they got to say. Then you rebut, okay? Or come with another question to clarify. Get what I'm saying? But if you do not let a person go on ahead and say what they have to say, how can you dissect that shit? How can you even explain shit that they're trying to say? How can you even explain your part if you don't want to let them say they part? There's no part in this other than you just trying to say shit. You feel me? Now, in his structure of a show, he likes to do that to people to get it riled up and shit and like throw them questions and questions and questions to try to confuse people or they'll slip up. Kanye was not fucking with him. He was throwing his man card out there like, hey, you are not going to be fucking doing this to me on camera, motherfucker. <laughs> I can wholeheartedly understand it because I would have done it too. Like, shit, didn't you ask me here for, for a certain reason? Now, I'm trying to give you your answer. Now, if you're not going to hear the answer, I will cut this shit right the fuck now. Because it looked like he was on a Skype call or something like that. You feel me? I just got a one button to press and you go bye-bye, sir.
<laughs> you ask me here and I can cut your show short. Who you gonna get in next, huh? <laughs> I'm already here. Listen to what the fuck I gotta say. If you don't wanna hear what I gotta say, then why the fuck you ask me here? Bitch pay me, I'm gone. Bip. Cut off. Like <laughs> Just cause this is uh, that's a pet peeve of mine. Uh, anyways, when you asking questions, you feel me? You asking for some knowledge. Get the knowledge. That's why we got so many stupid people out here right now. Because they don't know how to receive knowledge. And knowledge is power. That saying is a true to the, true to the fact saying. Okay? Doesn't matter what weapons you have. Doesn't matter your strength. It doesn't matter how many people was behind you and shit. Knowledge is power. One person can take down 20. Easy. Especially if you knew how to. Get what I'm saying? Perfect example to that. Rumbo. One person can take down 20, especially if he knows how to. You take a guerrilla soldier that's been in this shit for years that knows his whole gangster of killing, okay? And you treat some regular hoodlums. You get some regular thug niggas. 20 of them niggas going up against him is getting wrecked. Because they don't know what he knows. He's been through years and years of killing. <laughs> he knows how to dissect a person head to toe. And make sure they ain't coming back. <laughs> okay? So that's the whole point. Knowledge is power. In everything. Okay? In business. If you know the knowledge on how to run a business. Make a business. Blah, 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 make a business propel. Okay? Into another venue or into the next generation. Where it's going to keep going and keep going and keep going. If you know how to do that. You know what I mean? then you're able to make business thrive. You feel me? You're able to have a lot of money and shit. But if a person gets that same business and don't know how to do that, nine times out of 10, they tanking that shit. You feel me? And then trying to do a tax write-off or sell it or, you know, some shasty shit. You know what I'm saying? Knowledge is power and everything, baby. Okay? Knowledge is power. And so, that that clip right there, I give it to Kanye. You feel me? That was one of his less crazy moments. You feel me? He just flipped the race card on him and he like give me the respect I deserve. That's basically what he was saying. You feel me? And that boy thing right there, ooh, that, that was funny. That was funny. Y'all don't know. That's what they would call slaves, boys. You feel me? The good house niggas. Hey boy, go get that one. You feel me? Never liked it. <laughs> Especially if I'm a grown ass man, nigga. You do I know you, motherfucker? And who you fucking call, boy? You ain't no one in my family. You ain't my hierarchy, nigga. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Like that, that's a point to get mad at. You feel me? And so Kanye threw that at the at Pierce. He didn't know what to do with it. He's like, wait, wait, huh? Don't call me, boy. Wait, what? <laughs> To the, to the loop on that one, man. That was that was a good one. That was a good one. So, yeah, understand, people. Okay, now I gotta cut the video short. Look at that. <laughs> so, understand, people. In 23, the rules are changing. Get a law book or brush up on your law because the shit's gonna change around. Shit's gonna get real hectic. And there's more business opportunities for us hooded boys. Okay? So, boys, get smarter. Okay? Things are legalized. Get smarter with it. You don't need to go to jail. You can get money for us. <laughs> okay? And that's the end of my show. I hope you liked it. It's a short one. I did a very, very short one because I did a lot of jabber jabber and uh, I got other things I need to do and I may do another short one. Tomorrow too. Okay. Probably for the next two, three days. Just so like, you know, it's bam, 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 bam. But you know, please like, subscribe, comment, and I'll catch you later today.